Hello everyone. Hey, welcome to BTL. Look, there is a, a video that I'm, I just did on a teaching about faith. And um, I was in the middle of worshiping before I recorded the video. And then I went on and hit the, uh, the record button. And I forgot to wipe off my face because I was sweating. I just want everyone to know that that's the reason why I'm a little sweaty. And I want it to be natural. So I want you to enjoy this video because it's a strong word and I think it's a word for now. We need to hear it. God bless you. Just real quickly, I just want to talk about something that's been up on my heart, and it's about faith. In one particular meeting on the den, we were uh, in the middle of praise and worship, and uh, Hannah was leading a song, a very beautiful worship chorus that Kim wrote. It was called Face to Face. And in the middle of this chorus, as we were singing, Hannah begins to uh, begin to exhort the people, and she said, "Everyone," she said to everyone, "Look, why don't you envision yourself, see yourself." face to face with the Father now. And, 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 and I'm going to let Miranda sing this song or this chorus again. And I want you to envision yourself being face to face with the Father, the, the lover of your soul. Now when she said that, I heard the Spirit of God speak to my heart and said, also, I'm the keeper of your faith. And it just touched me when he said that to me. And so I began to think about it. And as, as we were worshiping, I began to ask God, what do you mean by keeper of our faith? I, I don't know if that's even written in the Bible or if that's even scripture. But God says, well, he said this to me. This is what he said. He said that, look, I'm the keeper of your faith. You know that faith pleases me. You know why it pleases me? You know why I'm so pleased with your faith? It's because this is what I do whenever you uh, operate or move in faith. I take your faith and I become one with it. In other words, God was saying, I take it unto myself and I become one with your faith. And then when I become one with your faith, I begin to not only become one, but I will embrace it. I embrace your faith. And then when I do that, then your faith begins to multiply. And that really spoke to me about, about what faith really is to God. Because God is love, of course. And God is pleased by faith. And God is faithful. And so everything about God, it deals with faith. And he says whenever we operate in faith or whenever we step out in faith, or simply just have faith in his spoken word, his written word, God says he takes that faith and he embraces it. He becomes one with it and then he will multiply it. A good example of multiply faith in your life is in the life of Christ. You know, many passages in the Gospels, when Christ was in an area and people were being healed, Christ turned around to them and said, your faith has made you whole. Your faith has healed you. It's like with the, the woman with the issue of blood. She, she had to fight through a crowd. A crowd. And, and, and just to get at Jesus, she had been to every doctor in the region. And no one was able to help her. Now she knew that the Son of God was in her area. So she came to be healed by him. And there were people all around Jesus touching him. And, and Jesus was moving through the crowd. And she had to fight her way through that, uh, through that crowd. And, and, and she, I can imagine her running out of strength. That's the reason why she probably fell because she just kept trying. If you've ever been in a crowded place and people are bumping up against you and, 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 and knocking you uh, uh, sideways and backwards and, and you know you can imagine the turbulence that this woman was going through. And she, with, her, with, the la with a last 
ditch effort. She fell down and she reached out and she touched just the hem of his garment. And virtue flew or flowed from Christ into her. And Christ turned around and said, who touched me? And his disciples said, look, uh, Jesus, uh, <laughs> hundreds of people are touching you. Hundreds of people are touching you. What are you saying? He said, no, someone touched me. Someone tapped into me. That word touch in the Greek is also mean tap. Have, have not only touched, but has received and, 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 and grabbed something that is very, very essential. Someone has tapped into who I really am. And that was that woman with the issue of blood. And he turned around and when she said it was I, Lord, and he said, your faith has made you whole. You know what that means? You know what that is saying about faith? Is that this woman looked at Christ and she knew. She, she, she didn't have faith in anything else. She looked at Christ and she said, I know that he can heal me. If you can uh, remember the passage, she said, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, I know he will heal me. She had enough faith in the fact that faith was walking in front of her. So her faith was in Christ or the faith that was in Christ because she knew that he had the power to heal her. Now Christ says this about us. He says that the works that I did you would do greater works because I go unto the Father. And these greater works is supposed to be operated in us today. So, God is saying with this word faith, when he spoke to me about I'm the keeper of your faith, is that the more we step out in faith, the more we read his word in faith, the more we seek his presence in faith, the more we do things with a foundation of faith, he will take that faith unto himself. He will embrace it and then he will multiply it. Now multiply faith in your life will begin to manifest. And when someone look at you, they will not look, be looking at you as the individual. Like let's use me for an example. They won't look at Charlie anymore and see Charlie. But they will see the Christ in Charlie. They will see faith arising in Charlie. And when they come, to Charlie for a healing. They will know that they know that they know that in Charlie is the power of salvation. In Charlie is the power of healing. In Charlie is the power of deliverance. And then that's when, when we pray and we begin to operate under the anointing of Christ, faith will be so active that people can't help but be healed, touched, delivered, and saved. I hope this word really blesses you because it really blessed me when God spoke to me about it. I will be speaking to you soon. In the meantime, God bless you.